Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is probably my most requested. Mm, oh, there's one of my most requested. I've done a few before and it is what I eat in a day. Um, I get so many questions on Instagram asking about what I eat in a day and to be honest, I'm not, well, I'm not very strict. It's literally what's a day today. It is January the 5th today, so I'm back on a health kick. I'm back wanting to feel good. I'm just... If you watch my weekly vlogs, you'll know that I've mentioned that over Christmas. I did not follow a diet at all. I certainly overindulged and I feel like I'm paying for it now. My skin is breaking out in spots. I don't feel healthy. So from the 1st of Jan, I've been really trying to consciously be healthy. And I like, I actually really enjoy healthy food and I enjoy eating healthy. Um, but over Christmas... There was a lot of cheese and wine consumed and i'm not sorry about it um but yeah back into a healthy routine thought this was a good time to show you what i eat in a day because i have just started a new routine and um if you live in the uk we've just gone in lockdown so it's a perfect time to focus on your diet focus on your health and be the best version of yourself i am also in no way shape or form a nutritionist a dietitian anything to Kobe, come here. As I was saying, anything to do with diet, I know what I'm talking about, but I know what works for me, I know what I enjoy, and yeah, I never really restrict myself and I never really put myself on strict things. I think it's all about balance. I think, you know, if you want to have a little treat, have a treat in moderation. And yeah, I'm blabbering on, but let's get in with my first. Am I boring you? My first meal of the day, which is breakfast. Also, before I get into making breakfast, um, I thought I'd mention that I drink a lot of water, so I drink like three litres of water a day. Um, I've always done that, even through like being unhealthy, I am just a very big water drinker. I always have to have a bottle with me. Um, I know plastic isn't great for the environment, but because these are like, this is a 1.5 litre, makes me be able to track um, how much I've drank. So I try to drink one of these on a morning. Um, and then one throughout the afternoon, so that's three litres, but I'll probably end up drinking more because I have coffees, um, and I'll have like just glasses of water with meals that aren't from the bottle. Um, but yeah, drinking water, I think, is like my number one thing towards like feeling good and feeling healthy. It helps your skin, it helps me just function. I honestly, drink water, get yourself a water bottle and force yourself to drink it because you will feel a million times better. Okay, so for breakfast, I'm back on the smoothie hype. I love smoothies um, and I decided, you know what? I've missed them, haven't had them for a while. Even though it's like freezing outside, I still do like a cold smoothie on a morning. By the way, it is currently 10.44. Um, I'd sometimes have my breakfast earlier. If I'm doing fasting, then sometimes I'll wait until 12, but I'm not really doing that at the minute. I'm just eating healthy, three meals a day tracking my calories um i use my fitness pal to track all my calories what i'll do is put in screenshots of each meal um with all of their calories when i show you at some point in this video um but yeah i'm not doing any fasting or anything at the minute i'm just getting myself back into a routine but for today's smoothie i'm having banana and then i have this frozen banana and strawberry smoothie mix um i just pick out the strawberries from that just to make it colder um and some of the bananas if there is some I am adding spinach and I measure all this out again. I will show you that on my fitness pal. Honey and water, and that is literally all that goes into my smoothie. And it is absolutely delicious. I've just made Jordan one as well because he loves them. And yeah, I'm starving, so let's make some breakfast. blender we used to have a blend active and to be honest it wasn't very good at all like i used to have to blend it for ages and then shake it up and blend it this is life-changing i'll leave it linked down below definitely worth the investment and you can make like hummus and stuff in it as well which i want to do um like make our own hummus and pasta sauces and stuff because i've never had something that actually um what i'm trying to say like blends it that well to be able to do like hard food um but yeah that is the smoothie i'm gonna blend that up and eat it and there it is there is my smoothie i like 
to put quite a lot of water in um just because it makes it feel bigger and lasts me longer because i drink smoothies so fast um so in terms of calories this has 143 calories in which is not a lot at all i prefer to have a bigger lunch and bigger dinners um personal preference and i'm not really that hungry on the morning half of the time um but yeah 143 calories fills me up and looks healthy and is delish so i'm gonna sit and eat this eat it drink it i'm gonna sit and drink this um do a bit of work on the laptop that i need to do and i will speak to you all when i'm making lunch okie dokie i've just got back from a nice long 5k walk with corby um i was gonna have lunch before but i was like i'm not actually that hungry so i'm just gonna i've got hair in my face i'm just gonna wait it out um and i've just got back it's about two o'clock and i'm gonna make myself a nice big tuna salad i am starving now and i'm very excited with this salad because it's been my new favorite as some of you may know a caesar salad is literally my favorite thing in the world like i live on caesar salads pretty much it's like my favorite meal ever um however i have been having this tuna and rocket salad for the past couple of days and loving it so i thought i would show you that um and i've got this new dressing which is literally the best thing in the world so let me put you on there so within this salad we've got some bistro salad which is literally i don't even know what's oh here's what's in it it's got lamb's lettuce red chard ruby red chard and shredded beetroot i honestly don't know what any of them are but it's a nice little bistro salad apparently and tomatoes cucumber half an avocado this is half from my one yesterday tuna and then i squeeze lemon juice and this is my new addition which i'm obsessed with it's this balsamic glaze i got it from amazon um because i couldn't find it anywhere else and oh my god it is unreal when i first put it in my fitness pal i was like no way because it scanned up like a different one and it said it was like 500 calories for like 20 milliliters or something but it's not um it's really not that bad um and yeah it's a really nice salad dressing and it makes me feel like i'm in spain having bread and olive oil and balsamic but i'm not i'm having a salad and it's just as delicious so let me put all this together and i'll show you what the salad looks like and i've also refilled up my water bottle and um, my second one of the day and i also need a coffee but i'm limiting myself to one coffee a day um because especially like being at home it's so easy just to use the coffee machine and make coffees like all day long and um, so i'm gonna have, to have like just one a day every day and i haven't had one yet so i'll probably have one just after um my lunch because around about like three o'clock i always get like an afternoon slump where i'm like just want to get cozy on the couch and watch a film um so yeah that is my plan and there it is my big healthy tuna salad i use the scales just so i make sure like for example i only wanted 20 grams of the sauce so like it's really handy to have these i think these were literally from like wilkinson's or something um to be able to measure out stuff but yeah i'm gonna dig into this drink some water and get on with some more work well that was delicious honestly that salad just it just hits it just hits the spot um, it is coffee time. Where's my favourite mug? Hmm. Excuse me. Does anyone else have a favourite mug that they like have to use when they're in the house? Like, I just have my certain mugs that I like. Oh, they're dirty. Oh my god. Okay, bear with me. Okay, I'll have to use this one. It's not my fave, but it'll do the job. Um, this is our coffee machine. It is the Nespresso um, Sage one i don't know exactly which one it is i will link it down below but it has this little dial thing and what i do is i always have a cappuccino where is it cappuccino i'll choose a pod these are are these the only ones we've got they must be um which we keep there so you just pop that into there close it put your mug under press start 
and it will make your coffee. And then I need to get some milk out of the fridge. In terms of milk, I use the Oatly. I usually get the barista one, but they mustn't have had it in stock. And again, measure out how much I want, which is about 172 grams. I'll actually just eyeball it, to be honest. I don't really care how much it is. Um, can I do this one-handed? I think she can. Put that under there. Start milk. And it froths the milk for you. And there is my finished coffee. And it's probably good having it around this time because I have my coffee about 3 o'clock. And then I go for a run at about 4, so although I've hit like my 3pm slump, this like wakes me up. I'll have this while I like tidy my dressing room, sort stuff out around the house, and then I'll go for my run. So that is the plan. I will speak to you all at dinner time. Okay everybody, hello and good evening. This is literally the real me, let me take them off because the light reflects. Um, look at my skin, you know I was talking, was in this video. Yeah, I was talking about my skin being bad. I literally rarely have spots. Like, I just don't really get them. I never have. The odd one here and there, but not a lot. And my skin is just so bad at the minute because of all the, like I said, the crap that I've been eating, I think. Well, I hope it's that. And hopefully in a week it'll be better. But anyway, it is currently six o'clock. I've been for a run. I went for 3.5k, I think it was. Um... Yeah, I'm getting back into running now. I was off it for like over Christmas time, but back into doing like five a week is my plan and my goal anyway. Um, so that was my second of the week and I really enjoyed it. However, now I am starving, so I'm gonna make dinner. Tonight's dinner is one of the more easier ones that I do. Um, through the week when we're not doing Hello Fresh, I like to mix it up with like some nicer meals like on a weekend. We'll do like steaks or we'll make a homemade curry or whatever um but through the week i do just like convenient stuff that's going to be easy to throw in the oven and make but also healthy so let me show you what we're having so we are having these fish fillets so this is salt and pepper bassa they're really not that bad there's only 250 calories per fillet um, and they're not that bad for you. You think stuff, I always think stuff like this is not very good, but it's just like lightly dusted, not like battered, if you know what I mean. Um, and we really, really like these. They are very convenient to have. So we're going to have basically a healthy fish and chips. We're going to have them, sweet potato, I'm going to make some sweet potato wedges and some peas. And that is it. Pretty basic. Um, but we absolutely love this meal. And sometimes you just need a good healthy but tasty meal in my opinion so i'm gonna prepare all of this and stick it in the oven and i will see you on the other side finished dinner a nice at home fish and chips and that is it guys i am now going to make myself a green tea tuck myself up in bed read my book and relax i hope you enjoyed this video as always just don't put pressure on yourself like you know we're all trying to be healthy out there we're all trying to get through this third lockdown so just do what's right for you listen to your body and yeah I'm sure we will all be absolutely fine. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.